Hello there, I am Giant Quoto with more Pokemon Yellow in the last Poetikon route. Um, I think it was Route 9 or so. Um, and it was a long route with full trainers and stuff, and we made it to the Rock Tunnel entrance. So yeah, as I said in the last part, I did train everyone up to level 25, except for like Fairy, of course, because Fairy doesn't count. And then, uh, Lavender, my Needle King, is in the PC right now, and he is also level, or it is also level 25, so that's pretty cool. I know st I know Pikachu in Pokemon Yellow wins Thunderbolt level 26 because I looked it up on Surubi. So that's exciting that I'm coming up. See like I showed this I think in the last part. I think I always showed it. Um, and it's kind of all dark out. Dark and um, if you uh, are playing like a Game Boy Advance SP like if you're playing on the cartridge. You know the actual physical copy of the game. Uh, and probably on the 3DS version too for the virtual console. You can easily see like where to go you know. Because like you can see the, like the walls and stuff easily. So, but even your menu is kind of a little dim, you know? So to lighten that up and to make it easier for me, I'm just going to use Flash, which I have on my Clefairy here. And what? Well, we can see again, yay. So here's our first trainer. So let's take him on. I don't think that I checked in. There wasn't anything on the right side, of, far right side of the um, first floor there. Because I did some. Tra I did all my training in uh, Rock Tunnel, actually, to get all my Pokemon up to level 25. So yeah, Pokemon, fight. Ready, go. Okay. I think this might be a Pokemaniac, if I'm not sure. If, yeah, Pokemaniac, yeah, I was pretty sure it was a Pokemaniac and it was. Oh, Cubone, okay. So not the best, uh, not the best matchup, but as long as he doesn't have any ground type moves. Or this Cubone doesn't have any ground type moves. Nope, that, okay, that, that, that's a game changer. This is a game changer. Oh no. Shoot, that almost took out Storm completely. Oh man, okay, let's go to, um, let's go to Brute Root then. Although the ground type moves will be super effective on Brute Root too, because Brute Root's half poison type. Okay, it's gonna use Growl. Nah, I was expecting to use Bone Club again, honestly. Let's go for the Vine Whip. It's gonna be super effective, which is nice. And it takes it out, nice. I was so hoping that he, that Keybone didn't have any ground type moves, but I was wrong. Soul Puck, okay. We'll actually, uh, stay in with, uh, Brute Root, I guess. After this battle, I'm gonna go heal up a, uh, you know, I'm gonna heal up a, uh, oh man, that's super effective. I'm gonna heal up, apparently, you know, Storm and Brute Root to full HP and have it there, all their PP for their moves restored completely, so that's good. Cause I, I just caught me off guard with this Pokemaniac, you know? I was able to win the fight, but then, but I had a rough start, I guess. Game over, sorry man. Thanks for the 1,150 Poké Dollars. So I'm gonna be right back, I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, I'm back right here. Um, I'm gonna use some repels though, because I don't really need to do any wild encounter training or training as we go through this rock tunnel. So I'm just gonna use repels. I don't know if, I don't know if 16 repels will cover it, but hopefully it will. That should be barely enough, if I were to guess. But you know, this is a big place, so you never know. In fact, I'm gonna go a little bit faster on my bicycle too, by the way. So you could hear the cool bicycle music instead of that downer, uh, depressing, uh, cave music you got there. Okay, so this is the first floor. Nothing over there, nothing over there. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's hope you have um something that's weak against electric type Pokemon. <laughs> I draw Pokemon when I was when I'm home. Yeah, I never really got into drawing, like I never all my friends know how to draw really. Um, I Gus and my friend Travis, uh Gus I dipped and uh Travis Fedaro X C C I I on YouTube. <laughs> um they both know how to draw very well. And then Sam with the BS he also knows how to draw pretty good too. Um, Matt's better than me, I should say, but I'm like terrible at drawing. Okay, so yeah, he has a slowpoke, awesome. Cool, does a half at least, okay, headbutt. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, it did a good amount of damage, I knew it. Headbutt's a good move. It's level 25, okay, so level 25 versus level 25. It's gonna get confusion now, which confusion has a 10% chance of confusing. Luckily, it didn't happen there. Let's go for the quick attack. Jeez, these Pokemon are just pounding on Storm. Hopefully Storm will reach level 26 soon so I can learn Thunderbolt. A few, I'm exhausted. Thanks for the 1,250 Poké Dollars. Nothing over here. I think this is the guy over there that teaches Rock Slide by a Move Tutor. Like, I know it's in Fire and Leaf Green, probably. Repel Effect off right there. Okay, that's whatever. At least I wasn't accidentally going on my bicycle going without Repel on. Okay, um, I'm hoping that, uh, this, this last, or whatever trainer, this is the last junior trainer female. Hopefully, I think they have, like, oddishes and stuff in Bellsprouts. I don't often come here, but I will fight you. Okay, let's battle. Let's battle. 
Junior trainer, female. Okay, cool. I was one of the other, really. Okay, I'm gonna switch to, um... I'm gonna switch to Tabasco, I guess. Oh, Tabasco also learned Rage. I think I like level 23. Are you kidding me? Poison powder? Ah, uh, see, there's Rage. I got rid of Weird, by the way. Not Growl. I didn't mean Growl. I meant to use Ember. Shoot. Gosh dang it. I'm a nervous wreck right now. Oh my gosh. Why, 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 why? Ember. Thank you. Those moves are so close together in the menu. Sometimes you accidentally uh, press the wrong move if you don't, if you're not paying close attention. And that time I was just like clicking A, thoughting, thinking I would uh, be able to land an ember. I, this battle, this this stupid arch would have been fainted by now. But I had to make a misclick happen. Ah, uh, I was like, does ember really have 40 PP? But then that was growl, so I was like, oh right. Okay, Bulbasaur, okay. I'm sorry, Bulbasaur. My second favorite Pokemon of all time, but you have to go down. Yeah, Ember has 25 PP. So yeah, that makes more sense to have 25 PP on an attacking move. But that's weak, at least, for the beginning of the game. But yeah, because goes the Junior Trainer. I'm gonna give her antidote to, uh, Tabasco. Oh, I lost. I'm sorry. Thanks for 404 Poké Dollars, though. So let's see. How many antidotes do I have? I have two. Uh, I mean, I should have stocked up on more, but... I guess I forgot to, because I was focused on getting potions and super potions instead, and that's it, you know? Okay, so here's another trainer. Do you want to know about custom players? I talk about like cosplay, because I, I talked about this in my Leaf Green Redo Walkthrough Guide, where I said that I go to Dragon Con every year since like 2012, and I still do. Um, of course, this is 2017, and hopefully the 2018 Dragon Con is going to be just as good. Let's go for the Thundershock. I should have, I could have healed there, but... Oh man, okay. Rage, how much will Rage do? 19, okay. Just in case I'm going to heal right now, I'm going to use a Super Potion. There we go, nice. I could have used it off screen and just saved the turn, but... You know me, I'm not prepared, apparently. Oh, please learn Thunderbolt soon. It's the next level, I know that, but uh... If it all kicked, it'll only come sooner. You know, maybe after this battle, hopefully. Oh, Cubone, okay. So I'm gonna use the switcheroo trick here. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go to Gamera. Bone Club, okay. Let's see how much this does. It doesn't do too much, okay, good. Let's use Bowie Bill on this thing. Here we go, nice. Okay, cool. Well, that's that. Yeah, I guess it's that. Uh, thanks for the 1,100 pocket dollars. Okay, here's a... Might as well switch to uh, Brute Root or something, you know? Because I know this hiker probably has a G-Dude starting off. So it's like, yeah, there's two hikers I think that you can find on this floor. Uh, my Pokemon techniques will leave you crying. I don't want to cry, man. I just want to battle you. Why do you have to make me cry? It's not very nice. Okay, so he has one Pokemon, it's a Jeter, okay. It's like level 20 though, it's level 25. It should be a Gravel, but you know. That's just too bad for you, I guess. Let's use Vine Whip on this thing. Yeah, it was 20k, awesome. Nice. Cool. There goes the Hiker. I gave you a better technician, thanks. Looks for 875 Poke Dollars too. Let's take on this guy next, this Hiker right here. Okay, I muted uh some the 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 the, the dialogue of the hiker, I guess. So just to be safe, you know, just to be safe. I don't know. I I may be over, I may be paranoid, but I'm doing it just in case because I just thought of it. Hopefully, one more vinyl should faint it. But then you know the the machop could hang on by the skin of its teeth. It did because it because like the yellow bar in this game usually doesn't exactly mean exactly half. It may be a little bit more than half, and that way that um the, if you use the same move and it doesn't get a critical hit, uh, the Pokemon will le be left in the red health like that like for this machop in this case. So that's something that I have to get used to, I guess. Onyx, okay, we'll stay in. This Onyx is level 20. Okay, cool. Let's use Vine Whip on this thing. Vine Whip only has 10 PP. 
And Vital Pill only has a power of like 40 too. So I always wondered why it only had 10 PP. Like usually it moves with a like Hyper Beam that have like 120 power, only have 5 PP. But I think it would at least deserve to have 15 or 20 PP because that one has 40 power for Vine Whip at least. Yeah, so there goes the Brew. Brew goes to level 26, 26, almost at 23. It's got a storm again. Oh yeah, actually it's but weird there, yeah, because he's level twenty six now. Okay, of course another I mean, just gonna, I'm just gonna do the Switcher trick then if there's a ground type, you know? Because I want Pikachu to learn Thunderbolt finally. And beach level twenty three. This tunnel goes a long way, kid. Yeah, we're only at the beginning of it really, so it's gonna be a while till uh, we get to the end of it. Okay, so yeah, here's a Geo dude. level nineteen. Let's go for uh, Gamera, I guess. Gamera! Because his defense code, I'll get to raise his defense up. Let's just try a water gun, see if it faints it. Just out of curiosity. And it does, because it's four times super effective. Awesome. A chop. Okay, let's go to, um, let's go back to Storm. Okay, um, let's go to, let's go to Grumpy, I guess. Karate Chop, okay. Ah, Critical Hit, jeez, of course. Okay, let's go for the Body Slam. Critical Hit, awesome, we'll take it. Gee, dude, okay, let's go to, um, let's just go to Gamer then. for the water gun. When it kills the critical, I'll take it. Nice. We'll stay in with Gamera, I guess. Let's Gamera finish this like, cheated off with the night water gun. So nice. You need feed a hiker, awesome, nice. Dole, will you win? <laughs> Hey, that's that the in between the D and the O there it didn't have apostrophe. Like in the Simpsons, that's how you spell dull. I didn't read the number of Pokedex was, was that was awarded, so that kinda stinks. Um if I forget what I was gonna do. Oh yeah. Hold on, oh yeah, I remember now. I was gonna Here's another hiker. Um, I, once Pikachu was gonna learn Thunderbolt, I was gonna check my move sets, my final move sets, to make sure to to get rid of the right move that was in the final move set for, to make to make him for Thunderbolt. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully, after this battle, uh, Pikachu will be level 26. I'm have a good feeling about this one. So Pikachu's gonna be sent out, but then I guess uh, I guess Gamera's gonna use a water gun and let's say Onyx. So let's see what this Onyx does. Is bind, of course. That 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 very annoying move that continues, just like rapid fire spin in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if you go in a bind, you can't switch out your Pokemon. Actually, so keep that in mind. What again? Okay. Hopefully, this will faint the Onyx. I'm hoping. There we go. Nice. Storm's in level twenty-six. Awesome. Storm is trying on the Thunderbolt, yay! We can't win more than four moves. So we an old move to make room for Thunderbolt? Yes. Which we should be forgotten. Let's get rid of a... Let's get rid of Slam, because I know Slam's not in the final moveset. But let me check just in case. I'll be right back. Okay, Slam is not in the final moveset, so uh... We can get rid of Slam, I guess. To poop, yeah. Storm forgot Slam, and... Uh, Storm went Thunderbolt, yay! Gamera in, nice. Okay, let's go. For, let's keep Gamera in. Let's go for the water gun. Okay, nice. Gamera's in level 26, awesome. But the you dude, okay. We'll switch to uh, Grumpy, I guess. Let's go for the low kick. It hits, awesome. Puts in the red health, okay cool. Let's get his defense curl. 
Okay, let's go for the will kick in just so it can faint in the next turn. Cause I don't know if uh, I don't know if Karate Chop would have fainted and maybe did a little bit of damage. Cause Karate Chop is not very effective since it's a normal type attack, and normal type moves aren't very effective against Rock type Pokemon. So yeah, we do for Hiker. Cool. Ease up. What am I doing? Which way is out? You have to keep on going deeper and deeper into the tunnel to find your way. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for 700 Poké Dollars. Okay, so uh, we have to do some rearranging on our team, or Pokemon list, I should say. So uh, let's switch with Grumpy, and then Gamera. Gamera, Storm, and Brute are all level 26. Tabasco and uh, Grumpy are not level 26 yet. But they'll get there. Let's go this way. Oh, there's another hiker. Okay. Wow, right there. Outsiders, like, you need to show some respect. I'm just trying to get through this tunnel, I guess you could say, to get to Lavender Town. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm the, my character's the protagonist in the game. He kind of has to do that to, you know, advance the story, but whatever. Be a jerk about it. <laughs> Guess use a little kick on this thing. It's, it's a dude to live 21. Yeah, okay. Left in. Okay. Oh, it flinched. Awesome. Let's try, um, Karate Chop to finish it off. And will it be enough? Yes, it will. Critical awesome. I'll take it. But there's gravel, okay, that's new. It's a buff one energy, dude, that we haven't seen yet for a Pokedex. So let's go for the little kick then. And it does about over half, okay, that's good. Okay, let's get his defense curl. Hopefully another little kick should faint it. But again, it raised its defense. Okay, there we go, nice. Cool. Did over half, so we were good in, in the crew for that one. So yeah, um, what do you have to say? I give, thanks for the 735 Poke dollars. 735, I meant to say, if I didn't say that clearly enough for... If I set it wrong or something like that, repel wolf. So let's use another repel. We have 13 left. Okay, I think you can use multiple repels in this game, can't you? Hopefully they count for double the steps. Then I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it does. I I honestly forget if it does or not. Okay, so uh, here's the last I think or picnicker. I don't know. Hikers uh leave twigs and trail as trail markers. Yeah, that makes sense to mark your trail so you can come back. It's a junior trainer. Okay, cool. Let's get his Jigglypuff, okay. Jigglypuff is weak to fighting type moves though, so I'm gonna use a low kick. So Grumpy will actually use a low kick. It missed though, dang it. Let's get his pound on us. Didn't, that did 11 HP, that did more than I expected, but well. This is level 21 Jigglypuff, so you know, I'm not too surprised, I guess. So let's use Pidgey, okay. Ooh, it's just Thunderball on this thing, yeah. Awesome. Thunderbolt, yeah. <laughs> I love how Mankey can learn Thunderbolt and Pokemon Yellow, it's awesome, man. So he might even be able to learn Thunderbolt um, in Fire, Red, Red and Blue, you know? That's really cool. Covering its weaknesses, because, you know, Fighting-type Pokemon are actually super effective against Fighting-type Pokemon. Meowth, okay, let's switch to, um, Tabasco. Because Tabasco is the only one out of our main party members, other than, you know, Fairy, that's not level 26. So let's go for the Ember, I guess. It's me also level 21, so it might take a couple embers. It might take an, two embers and a scratch, actually, because it might s hold on by the skin of its teeth, as the Pokemon Stadium announcer would say. Pretty cool, I'll take it. Awesome. Cool. We defeat Junior Trainer. Nice. Oh, I did my best. Oh, I did my best. Thanks for 420 Poké Dollars. And you did, you, you did do your best. I'm proud of you. So let's switch to Tabasco and Grumpy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Technically, Lavender and uh, Tabasco are in level 26 yet. But Lavender's in the PC. Okay, that's a dead end. Okay. Let's see what's up here. Nothing in dead end, okay. What's down here? Repel off, dang it. I'm only gonna use one repel at a time just to be safe. Especially if the la repels don't over like double if you use two of them in steps, I should say. This is dead end, okay. Yeah, I'm just checking because I haven't been in this rock tunnel for a long time. Especially in Gen 1, even though it might be the same kind of layout as Fire and Leaf Green. Ha ha ha, can you beat my power? I hope I can, you look like a hiker though, so might have to do the switch root trick. So, uh, Tabasco still gets, you know, experience. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go to, um, let's go to Brute Root, I guess. Just tackle on us, okay. Let's go for the vine whip, I guess. Dude, dude, I'm gonna switch back to Tabasco. 
So yeah, this dude is level 21, awesome. Just, I think it was the last one was level 21 as well. Let's go back to Brute Root, I guess. The old switcheroo trick, I love it. That's how I always used to train a magic up, is I would send it, make it first to my party, so I'd send it out on the first turn, and I can call it back, it's, so it doesn't get hurt, and then switch to a stronger Pokemon that could take out the Pokemon that was fighting my Magikarp. Cause you know Magikarp only knew Splash and Tackle really. It only tackle like level 15, but it had, it had Splash all the way up until like level 15 I should say, cause it's when it only tackle. In the later games I think it, it did win Flail like level 40 though, but it evolves at level 20 in the Gyarados, so why would you press A, press B like 20 different times when it was trying to evolve into Gyarados? I guess if you're like going on all Magikarp run, which I've actually seen a video of like an all Magikarp run, like in Pokemon Fire and the Green, I don't remember which version, but uh, there was this guy who did all no ma one Mag just a Magikarp run, solo run, just using Magikarp, and uh, he, in the final battle against uh, his rival, I think it was the first time through though, so like the highest level Pokemon was like his starter that was like level 63. In Fire and Leaf Green, uh, he kept on having to use like oh, hyper potions after hyper potion after hyper potion, because uh, you know the first Pokemon that sent out was uh, that he sent out that the rival sent out was like a Pidgeot, and it kept on using Alias on his Magikarp, and you know he had to keep on using hyper potion because it put him in the reds. But then Magikarp was like level eighty or something by the time. I just prefer. Honestly, I don't like solo runs, but they're fun to watch, but I just don't prefer to do one on my own, because I love having six Pokemon throughout a, a journey, you know? I don't want to just have one Pokemon have all the, you know, time and glory and experience, because plus it's going to be hard, too, so I'm kind of a wuss for not trying ones. <laughs> but I don't really have any interest in solo runs with Pokemon. So yeah, I'm going to go to Tabasco, I guess, because this is Gravel coming out, but that's my little spiel there. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Um, let's see, yeah, I'll switch back to, um, let's go to actually Gamera this time. Let's go to War Turtle. And then War Turtle can, or Gamera can use his Water Gun. Rock Throw Mist, that's good. Let's use Water Gun on this thing. Hopefully it'll win it killed. It's four times super effective though, so let's see. It does, awesome. Nice. Okay, what do you have to say, Hiker? Oops, out muscled. Thanks. Thanks for the 735 Poké Dollars too. Um, so there's a trainer right there. Is this a dead end? Yes, it is. Of course it is. Um, I'm going to end the part right here, though. So the spin that on my Pokemon Yellow walk through the part, next next part, we'll take on the rest of Rock Tunnel, hopefully get through it. Make our way to Lavender Town, hopefully battle all those. Because there's trainers even outside Rock Tunnel before you get to Lavender Town, so hopefully we can battle all of them, too. Depends on time, though, because I don't want it to be too long. So, yes, yeah, so this has been Draco again. I'm going to thank you again. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Yellow walkthrough guide.